Hi, this is Shanna at CoralWare. There's so much going on in so many different areas of robotics, it can be difficult sometimes for us to pick which articles we might like to focus on for our video blogs. The one that I chose this time is about Scout. It's a robot boat that is an unmanned robot that is driving over the ocean from across the Atlantic, from Rhode Island to Spain. It's not the first one that's crossed the Atlantic, but it is the first that's crossed from shore to shore. We now have unmanned boats, unmanned planes, unmanned cars, and other kinds of ground vehicles. And in many respects, these are making the waterways, the airways, the roadways safer than they've ever been before. They are programmed to avoid obstacles which is why the previous boat that crossed the Atlantic didn't go quite from shore to shore. It wasn't quite up to avoiding all of the obstacles along the shore. We now have Nevada has re regulations about unmanned cars on the roads and other states will follow as more and more auto manufacturers are targeting unmanned vehicles. And <clears throat> there are people who are going to say, this is horrible, it's kind of the end of the world sort of things. And yet if you think about it, a programmed response to the obstacles as the programming improves will make everything safer for all of us. Automobile accidents are still a leading cause of death in most of the developed world. Having vehicles that avoid those accidents is going to help decrease those deaths. There are people who are uh, very upset with uh, an article about a couple of pilots who were sleeping over part of a trans a long flight, I forget where it was between, and they were relying on autopilot. Now we don't allow planes to fly completely autonomously, and yet most of the flight errors that have led to fatalities in recent years have been human error. So cars, boats, planes, more and more are going to be controlled by the people who do the programming instead of the people who are driving. And we have to hope that those programmers have done a great job with their quality control and testing and that the programming has been done correctly. Not everyone is happy that we now have drones that are fighting in our wars. Not everyone is going to be happy that we have drones driving on our freeways. And yet that's the progress and the change that is going on. We need to adapt to it, figure out how to make the best of it, figure out how to make it work to our advantage. I think it's a wonderful thing to see how far autonomous robots have come. And if the science fiction writers are correct, there's still a long way for them to go. What do you think? Leave comments and let us know. Thanks for listening.